really behind on the vlog this morning. I still have to edit about half of the wedding before I can get it out. So I got like, I'm gonna just crush for like two hours. So just late knives breaking down the wedding and everything. So whew. here's the fam. Here they are. You know what I'm just, like, what if they see? threw those bums out, what they could see? live five years like fucking kings. Whose idea was it to put it like this? Me. Kings. Kings. <laughs> you're the future Mrs. Grave. Yeah, why do they have Robert? So why are you saying that? Because <laughs> you're next. <laughs> like, I just have to, I'm in the middle of editing yesterday's vlog still, but I got this crazy message on Instagram, so I have to read it because it just gave me fucking chills. Made me feel pretty nuts. From Rat in the Gut Stunt Crew. This kid's named Tyler. He's from Australia. I talk to him on uh, Facebook every now and again. He makes videos like we do. You can check out his channel. I think it's Rat in the Gut Stunt Crew. I'll leave a link down here. They do stunts and stuff too, but listen to this. This is nothing short of absolutely fucking amazing. Two years ago, we stumbled across a video called The King and Nutshots, and he was leaping off a two-story building into a, a nutshot. It was pure gold. I fell in love with Nub TV. Nub TV was something different. If I could put a title on it, I would say it was the most enjoyable stunt group and possibly people I've ever seen. Because every time you watch their videos, they seem like they're having the time of their life, which is what I want in life. At the time, I found that they were at the peak of their stunts, and it was exciting each week for what they were going to do next. Now, over two years later, Nub has pretty much stopped doing death-defying stunts. But the incredible thing is that I don't even like surfing or vlogs, etc. But when Nub TV uploads a surfing video, I watch it. They stand out above all because of the passion, not just for their stunts, but rather just for living life alive and how they want. It has a contagious effect in making you feel a connection to a different sort of life that I think a majority of people don't live by. Everyone I've known in my life has just had their regular job. No one I ever knew followed their dreams. No one ever said that your dreams can come true. Maybe they didn't think living a dream was possible. It was forever just a fantasy world. And ever since I was very young, I was under the illusion that my dreams can't come true either. But Nub TV opened up a whole new world for me where people worked on their dream and gave everything they could to live it. Ever since I've picked up my dreams and carried them with me because I believe now and will never stop fighting for what I believe in. Thank you Nub TV and especially Ben Gravy for everything you've done for me over the past couple years. Ben and Nub TV gave me the belief in everything that I do. I'm very grateful that I've been able to communicate with you guys even though I might pester the fuck out of you Ben. But you guys are my heroes besides family. Like when you have someone to idolize growing up. That's what you guys are to me, and it's not every day in life you get to speak to your idols in the way that I have. So thanks again, truly. Hashtag Nub TV. Damn. Turf. This one hit me hard, dude. Tripping over it, man. But it's a fucking full-on honor that we can represent something so important in your life. And it's an honor that we can be a driving force in your beliefs and your future and what you want to accomplish in your life and your dreams. I appreciate the fuck out of this comment. We're at in the gut stunt crew for the boys. Thank you, Turf. Keep pushing, dude. Believe. I took a pill in a visa to show Avicii I was cool. And when I finally got sober, felt 10 years older. Fuck it, it was something to do. Living out in LA. I drive a sports car just to prove I'm a real big baller cause I made a million dollars And I spend it all on girls and shoes But you don't wanna be high like me Never really knowing why like me You don't wanna get off that roller coaster and be all alone You don't wanna ride the bus like this Never knowing who to trust like this Stuck up on that stage singing Stuck up on that stage singing Oh, I know Our sad songs Sad songs <laughs> The crab Wait, do the crab, do the crab With Jay? Do the crab No, you can't hurt Alright, right, put it down Next to us, she won't be hurt And do the crab she can sit like a human. No, she doesn't like that either. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know, dude, I can't. Chef career right here. What's the theme of the breakfast? Came and ended. <laughs> the theme is burnt. <laughs> everything's burnt. <laughs> the theme of the breakfast is that everything's burnt. Dad, you can't curse in my vlog. Rob, get over there. Who said this? He's just going Who to said travel. it? Ben is 
you want to be in trouble. One, two, three, four. Pound of what? A, a British pound. I look up. Like how <laughs> I only eat hot dogs Blessings like once on or mile. twice a year. Mom, yeah. why isn't Dad at breakfast? Rob! Did I get my new Chipotle sauce that the guy sent me? Oh, yeah. Come on, Rob, we need you to say the blessing. We're already eating. Uh, no blessing. Blessings on our meal. Yeah, you want some? Hell yeah. Mom loves that stuff. <laughs> oh, Alright, Dad's done. Fire. <laughs> you don't want to be high. Or I get you gotta do something. So I catchy, had such an unfair advantage last night. I was telling everyone because You're Ben wrong. plays these songs at home and I get to practice dancing with June, so I already have the steps down. Go away, go away, go away, go away. I'm getting in trouble at breakfast. Ben, you're filming this whole breakfast? Mom, your hubby's a little aggro at breakfast. A little aggro. You can't just make your own shit and Good. fucking. Control me some potatoes, right? I'm gonna control the fucking plate right across you the wanna table. You want to know? You want to know who's controlling? His name's Robert L. Grave Jr. And he doesn't want to eat the stuff that's on the table, so he's making his daughter make more because he wants to be in control, and he's acting like it's everybody else. It is. Yes. You create stress, dude. You Breakfast is so nice. Wait, why is the stress? I don't You're know. You're creating you, the stress. No, you do. You do just by being you. Then, Chipotle. Thank you. Gee. Good shit, right? Oh yeah. Seriously, you should give Bob some of that off. stuff that guy no. sent you. Some guy mailed it to me. He's from South Carolina, but that's from New Zealand. Apples are born on this tray, dude. Big gloves, thin slippers, dude. I got everything. This is the problem with all my boys. They're not even hyped on 60 second grams, dude. Look at this guy. He won't even get in his fucking wetsuit. Go show the viewers what we're about to get into. <laughs> dude, 60 second gram yeah, Instagrams, dude. Every, these shits are lit. Kid that look at that be like, dude, are you even gonna fucking crack? And they dude? wouldn't have clips, though. 60 second grams, dude. This is fucking, this shit's lit, bro. Yeah, gnarly. Like, I'm in my suit and you're over there hanging out, dude. Get in my suit. Dude, we're about to go surf the bay. It's firing. Pump house, straight up. <laughs> Dude, you don't know how to read it. Let's say we're bored. Just have <laughs> you don't know how to read it. Never really knowing why I like me. What do we got here? Where are you suit at? Fuck. Bay wave, dude.
up guys? I just got out from surfing with the moose. <sighs> the universe is challenging me today, may I say that. Two bad sessions, I didn't really get any good waves. Broke the nose of my board. Um, yeah, pushing back against me, but you know how. You know, usually I get like one day a week where that happens. I'm a little stressed. I got mad editing to do. I got to do house wedding, some other shit, a bunch of other shit. Um, Super Shredder starts tomorrow, so I'm not really ready for that. But uh, keep moving. Got to film for the Surf Channel tomorrow after Super Shredder's stack schedule. Got to keep moving. Peace, Moose. <laughs> All right, see you guys. The newlyweds driving behind me. Look at them. There's Neelyweds, dude. I'm trying to call Hog. Hello. Yeah, hey. What's up? So you the one who hit my car? <laughs> dude, I just told you I'm not. Well, you left your phone number on my windshield. Well, you got the wrong number, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, stop yapping and listen. What? <laughs> my tail light. Yeah, right. Yes, you did. Why the fuck are you saying that? What, yo, why would I leave my number and then pretend that I didn't do it? Are you fucked up? Who's your <laughs> insurance company, B? <laughs> are you kidding right now? Yo, don't lie to me. Why the fuck would I leave my number on your car and then lie to you? How stupid would that be? Then why'd you leave a damn note? I didn't, dude. I didn't hit your car. Where do you even live? You're losing your mind. Man, what's wrong with you? Oh my god, dude, you're classic. I got your note right here in my own hand. I didn't leave you a fucking note, dude. Someone fucking gave you... <laughs> you just been pranked by crankdial.com. This is classic, dude. That was epic. I'm glad I filmed it. Dude, that sounded like a real person. Holy shit. Wait, what? That was, that was a fucking fake call. Really? What the fuck? <laughs>